for the two last quick questions. Uh, this next one from Scott Cunningham, a VP at Simplis. How soon do you see augmented reality and virtual reality becoming more fully integrated into our daily lives, specifically in, in the operating systems of mobile devices? How will that change how we interact with both people and businesses? I think there's kind of two different questions there for, for that to happen for there be, to be mass adoption of it. And so I've, I've looked for that to happen, you know, uh, in the not too distant future. But in terms of it becoming a sort of mass adoption so that, say, everyone in here would have an AR experience. The, the reality to do that is it has to be something that everybody in here views as an acceptable thing. And nobody in here, or no, maybe not no one, but few people in here are gonna think it's acceptable to be tethered to a computer walking in here and sitting down. And few people in here are gonna view that it's acceptable to be enclosed in something. Uh, because we're all social people at heart. Uh, even those of us introverts are social people. We like people and, and we want to interact. And so I think it has to be in that, that it's likely that AR of the two is the one that the largest number of people will engage with. I do think that uh, a significant portion of the population of developed countries and, and eventually all countries Will, will, be, will have AR experiences every day. And it will be almost like, um, almost like eating three meals a day. Because it, it will just become, it will become that much a part of you. It's almost like you, all of, a lot of us live on our smartphones. You know, they're very important. The iPhone's very important, I hope, for everyone. Um, so AR, I think, is going to become really big. VR, I think, is not going to be that big compared to AR. I'm not saying it's not important, it is important. And I'm very excited about VR from an education point of view. Because I, I think that it can be really big in education. I think it can be really big for games. But I can't imagine everyone in here getting in a enclosed VR experience while you're sitting here with me. But I could imagine everybody in here in an AR experience right now if the technology were there, which it's not today. How long will it take? AR is gonna take a little while because there's some really hard technology challenges there. Um, but it will happen. It, it will happen, and it'll happen in a big way, and we will wonder when it does how we live without it. Kind of like we wonder how we live without our phone today. And uh, so it, it will definitely happen.